good morning everyone now i am going to discuss a problem on directional derivative of a scalar point function in the direction of the normal to the surface of another scalar point function at the point okay i am taking one problem and how we can find out the directional derivative of the given scalar point function with the direction which is in the normal to the surface okay the problem is find the directional derivative of find the directional derivative of x y z square plus x z at 1 1 1 at the point 1 comma 1 comma 1 in a direction of in a direction of the normal to the surface the normal to the surface 3 x y square plus y equal to z at 0 1 1 1 it is the third case of directional derivative of the scalar point function okay here we can find out the directional derivative of the function this is x y z square plus x z let it be pi or f whatever is the letter but you remember this is the scalar point function the second one is the normal vector to the surface that is the clue don't confuse it is a scalar point if you take it is a scalar point function and it is the vector form then you are getting the wrong answer so first you read out the question what they are asking the directional derivative of this function means let the function be pi let pi is equal to x y z square plus x z at 1 comma 1 comma 1 that is nothing but at a point p here immediately you write the directional derivative of the function pi at point p in the direction a bar means we know that e bar dot delta del pi del is a operator in the vector form okay here find out the del pi del pi equal to grad pi it is equal to i do pi by do x plus j do pi by do y plus k do pi by do z find out the do pi by do x partial derivatives of the function pi here x is a variable other to our constants then it is equal to y z square plus z at point p do pi by do x at 1 1 1 it is equal to y is 1 z is 1 then 1 into 1 square that is 1 plus 1 it is equal to 2 next do pi by do y is equal to x and z or constant treating as constant y is a variable then y derivative is 1 then it is x z square in the second term no y then find out do pi by do y at point 1 1 1 then it is equal to 1 into 1 square it is equal to 1 only next do pi by do z is equal to z is a variable other to our treating as a constants then z square is derivative is 2z then it will be 2xyz plus here z is a variable x is a constant x into 1 is x then do pi by do z at point 1 1 1 1 equal to 2 into 1 into 1 into 1 Plus one, it is equal to two plus one equal to three. Then del pi equal to grad pi equal to 
i do pi by do x is 2 plus j do pi by do y is 1 plus k do pi by do z is 3. It is equal to 2i plus j plus 3k. It is a grad pi or del pi. Next, find out the normal vector to the surface. Normal vector to the surface. Three x y square plus y minus z equal to zero at zero comma one comma one. The normal vector to the surface surface three x y square plus y minus z means let it be some f vector f equal to three x y square plus y minus z. The normal vector to the surface at point is equal to the form is del f. Let it be if it is a f scalar point function. That is del f. What is del f? Del f is equal to n vector. It is equal to normal vector to the surface. Normal vector to the surface. F. It is equal to I do F by do X plus J do F by do Y plus K do F by do Z. Find out the derivatives. Do F by do X equal to X is a variable. The other two are treating as a constant. 3 Y square Y and Z terms derivative is 0. Then find out do f by do x at point 0, 1, 1. Here y is a 1. Then it is equal to 3 into 1 square equal to 3. Next, do f by do y is equal to y square derivative is 2y. 3 to the 6xy plus 1 minus 0. Here, do f by do y at point 0, 1, 1 equal to 6 into 0 into 1. It is 0 plus 1. It is 1 only. Do f by do z is equal to the first two terms has no z. So, those derivatives will be 0. Z derivative is minus 1. Do f by do z at point 0, 1, 1 is equal to minus 1. So, del f is equal to here n vector equal to i do f by do x that is 3i plus j minus k that is the n vector. Therefore, n vector equal to 3i plus j minus k. It is the normal vector. Unit normal vector equal to equal to e bar that is equal to n bar by modulus of n bar. It is equal to 3i plus j minus k. Here find out the modulus of n bar equal to under root of 3 square plus 1 square plus minus 1 whole square. This is equal to under root of 3, 3 is a 9 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to root 11 by root 11. The directional derivative therefore, the directional derivative of Phi in the direction in the 
यूनिक नॉर्मल वेक्टर टू द सरफेस इज इक्वल टू ई बार डॉट डेल पाई दट इज इक्वल टू ई बार ई थ्री आई प्लस जे माइनस के बाई रूट लेवन डॉट डेल फाइव इज टू आई प्लस जे प्लस थ्री के इट इज इक्वल टू थ्री टू जो सिक्स प्लस वन वन जो वन माइनस माइनस इंटू प्लस माइनस थ्री वन जो थ्री बाई रूट लेवन इट इज इक्वल टू फोर बाई रूट लेवन दिस इज दी आंसर ऑफ दी डायरेक्शनल derivative of a scalar point function at a point p in the direction of the normal to the surface at point q then the directional derivative is e bar dot del pi this is the procedure of how we can find out the directional derivative of the scalar point function which is belongs to the third case of the directional in the first case Directly given the direction vector. The second case, the along with the line with the two points, line joining with the two points P and Q. The third one is the directional derivative of a scalar point function in the direction of normal to the surface. Then it is the third one. This is the third case of the directional derivative. You have to remember how we can find out the directional derivative okay thank you if you like this video please subscribe my channel and share to your friends okay thank you